In this vlog we would like to see the process of Android Studio upgradation to the latest version available. So if you are a beginner and you are confused with this particular process I suggest you to watch till the end of this tutorial and I will be showing you a very clear way of understanding what is the current Android Studio version you are using and how to update it. So the very first thing you need to do if you are using Mac here. So under Android Studio, you have got an option like about Android Studio. So when you tap on this particular option, you will be knowing the latest version which you are using on your system. So I am using Android Studio Chipmunk version here and currently Dolphin is been released. So it's been like more than two weeks, but I would like to show you the process of upgradation from Android Studio Chipmunk to Android Studio Dolphin. So let's tap on the check for updates button here if you are using windows machine it these options are available under help here so under help you are going to have check for updates option and about android studio option if you are using windows machine but for mac users it is available under the android studio drop down here so just tap on the check for updates here and this will be launching you here an option to update so here at the bottom right we are got we have got an option like android studio dolphin 2021.3.1 is available for us so when you tap on this particular update button here it will be showing you a dialog box with what are all the new things which are coming up with our latest update and here there is also a small warning like plugin incompatible with the new build font so for now you can just skip this particular warning message and try to tap on update and restart if you really want to update your current android studio and i always suggest you to update your android studio whenever you have completed working on your present task so sometimes it might not be any risk to update the android studio but be careful while you are working on a particular task then that task might affect so I suggest you to complete the task which you are working and then try to update the Android Studio. So here we have got few options like ignore this update so that you can ignore this particular update and can update when you get new version again from the Android Studio. Or else you can just tap on the check for updates button and then you will be getting again the option to update. And here remind me later. If you have, as I have said earlier if you are working on a current task and you don't want to disturb that particular task. So you can just tap on this particular button like remind me later so that you will get a notification later that you can update to the latest version. And now I am trying to show you how to update. So I will be tapping on this particular button that is update and restart. So be sure that your work is been completed. So these are the instructions basically I am giving for the beginners and for the experienced developers they might be well aware like when to update the Android studio. And what are the things they might face when they update the Android Studio. So let's tap on this update and restart button and continue back. So when we tap on update and restart it is also showing that these are the two plugins which are also have new which also have new updates. Those are like Dart and Flutter. So yes I just want to update these two as well. So I am tapping on the update button and here you can see the patch files are being downloaded here. And once the downloading is completed our IDE will restart and our new Android Studio Dolphin version will be loaded. There are few new things which are there in Dolphin IDE that we will be seeing in the next tutorial. And also if you are a beginner and you are not aware like how to download the Android Studio. So this is a tutorial where I have explained clearly like how to install the Android Studio and how to make the basic configuration settings and all these things clearly in this particular tutorial. So I suggest you to go through this particular tutorial even though the version is different but don't get confused every Android studio will have the same process of installation and here I will be showing you this is the official website to download the Android studio here and there you will be having the latest version available every time. So here you can see clearly android studio dolphin is available for us to download here and seeing this particular tutorial 
you can just know the process of android studio installation and if you are having any queries just do let me know in the comment section below so now it is asking for us to restart the ide is ready for update and would you like to restart so before restarting i would like to just show you the logcat here so i just want to run a basic program and like to show you how this thing works so this is just a flutter application which was previously loaded on to this emulator so don't get confused this is not the application which we are running so here just try to observe how the logcat is being provided in the previous versions that is previous to the android studio dolphin version and here this is the way we can select the level which we want like verbose debug info want error assert but in our new android studio ide this is going to completely change so there is some change in the logcat and we would like to see them in our coming tutorial so here i am tapping on the restart button now and let us try to see how our new android studio dolphin is so the process of update is now going on and here you can clearly see updating android studio from 212 to 213 version it is specified and here android studio dolphin is now loading up successfully for us and yes our id is now updated so these are all the updates which are done are shown in our notification panel here and also you can go through like what's new in dolphin so as i have just discussed there is some change in the logcat so here you can see it the just the information is being provided for us here and whenever you want to go through what are the new things available in the ide here in the help you have an option like what's new in android studio so whenever you tap on this particular option so the screen will be visible for you so that you can read like what are the new things available in this particular version of android studio here and you can just go through the entire document here and here is the option to minimize and again you can expand it so yes this is it for this particular tutorial and i hope you like this particular tutorial and so i suggest you to stay subscribed for our coming tutorial on android studio dolphin and how the logcat is being changed and how much helpful is it for us i will be discussing that in our next vlog so stay tuned for this if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on android